Stopped at the store to pick some stuff up, and we got a new gazebo in the middle of town. Kind of want to go sit in there. I just want to briefly sit in here, just to say I was the first person to sit in this new gazebo that we've been waiting for for like two years, while they replaced it due to water damage, because this place always floods. I was the first one here. I kind of want to sit in this thing too. This is kind of fun. Always wanted to drive one of these. This would have been my wet dream as a little kid. My life is so bland these days that that might have been the most badass thing I've done in years. I just walked down to the store because I was really craving bread and butter. Well, toast with butter. I had it the other day before my race and I guess ever since then I've kind of been craving it. It's really weird because that's not normally something I would crave but here we are right now, it's kind of slapping. Got me thinking, is this what it's like when girls get their period and they crave things? Is that what happens when you get your period? Or is that pregnancy? Just got to work and you wanna see how I've been living recently? Look how ghetto this is. I have like five pairs of socks left and this is, this is what they're looking like. This is gonna feel so nice. I needed that. I am currently on my normal perch here, putting on my shoes and waiting for my watch to load. We're gonna be going for a little run here. It's Wednesday, so there it is, by the way. Watch is loaded. The marathon was three days ago. Feel all reset now <laughs> as we continue our running journey and get ready for whatever is next. I don't know how far I'm gonna go today. I just know that I'm just gonna run a few miles at a nice chill pace. It feels so weird to think that the Pittsburgh Marathon is no longer my primary focus. I've just been really dialed in on that for such a long time it felt like I was and now we're moving on to other things that's that's what life's all about you know regardless of whether or not you fail or succeed at something don't don't soak it in for too long right if you fail at something learn your lessons and move on from it quickly there's better times ahead and if you succeed with something don't let that be the last time you succeed and just like live vicariously through that moment forever you know, climb a higher mountain. See what you're made of. I took my one to two days to mope and feel depressed and now I feel normal again. I feel refreshed. I feel like I hit that reset button. Yeah, what's what's done is done. I know what I did wrong. I know things that I could have done better and we're gonna be better because of it going forward. I do wanna thank you guys though because as we wrapped up that series, I got so many amazing comments from you guys. It's very uplifting comments. I, once again, felt so horrible for you guys. Much worse than I probably should have, but you guys were really genuine about it and I appreciate that. As a human, naturally, we are very emotional creatures at times and even though it doesn't make sense for us to act the way we do, it's still so easy to take a lot of things to heart. And I just wanted to have the best experience for you guys. I want to pull out the best videos I can and when I failed for me I felt like I was failing you guys so thank you once again I can't think of a moment in my life where I felt more embarrassed too when I kind of came to the conclusion that I was done I was gonna have to pull off and just stop there were so many people cheering on the side so like yeah you're looking so good keep it up you look amazing and the whole time I'm thinking I'm about to pull off like I'm done and there was this big crowd of people like cheering and I just couldn't get myself to do it. Like I didn't possess the humility. So I rounded another corner and the road looked a little more empty and that's where I pulled off. It's so embarrassing, man. There's two miles, we'll turn around here. 
Body feeling pretty okay right now. <laughs> Granted, I only did 16 miles of the race. My quads are sore than I thought they would be. The day after, on Monday, I actually went out for a seven mile run. Probably wasn't the best thing I could have done, but I was pretty pissed as well. That was the, it's like the seven stages of grief or whatever. I was in the pissed off stage. So I did that and then I took yesterday off. My ankle, my Achilles feels all right though. I'm gonna be keeping close tabs on that going forward. Some positive takeaways from that disastrous Sunday. One, I learned that I have far more support than I originally thought. I'm also in far better shape than I thought I was. Felt really good, man. I also got one hell of a workout during the race. 16 miles at a really tough effort. It's worth something. That race also lit one hell of a fire in me. So going forward, I think we're gonna be highly motivated and gonna get ready to do something special. It's not like we lost any fitness. All it's still with us. So we just gotta sort out our, our physical body, getting us to like actually hold up under the volume and the pressure. A little dirty 30 to kind of kick this big reset off. This is our redemption arc, guys. We're starting over, we're in our villain phase. So I'm just gonna run as I feel this week and then next week, depend, assuming we feel pretty, pretty ripe and ready to go, we'll get started on our next goal. Look at that bug bite, man. That is gnarly. What an unfortunate time to get it right before I'm recording. I've got to get rolling here in a little bit. I've got to pack because I'm traveling early tomorrow morning. So just a short video for today. So I hope you guys don't mind. But I wanted to update you guys on a few things. First off, I've gotten a few people ask me, are you done uploading now that the series is over? And quite the contrary. I am very much not done. We're just getting started. So get your mind right. It's going to be a long summer and hopefully beyond. On October 15th, I figured now's a good time to tell you. I knew this pretty much right away because I've been thinking about doing this for a while, but on October 15th, we're gonna do the Columbus Marathon. It's about three hours away from where I live. It's a lot flatter. And obviously I'll have a couple more months to train for it. So all will be Gucci and we are going to kill it this time. I am very optimistic. The series will be kicking off probably next week and then we'll go from there. I'm just kind of joyriding it this week and then we'll get the show back on the road. The series is going to be structured pretty much the same way that I did it last time on a road to Pittsburgh and I'll be posting pretty much every Sunday. I'm sure I'll be late a few weeks but the goal is to upload that at least once a week and in between all of those Sundays I'll just be uploading whatever I want to upload. And if you guys want to watch them, I'd be very grateful. But if you don't want to watch, I totally understand it because not everything is going to be running related. So yeah, to each their own. But thanks so much, guys. Give the video a like rating if you enjoyed and are excited for this series. I'm very excited. I feel like I got that big reset that I needed and subscribe if you want to see more because we're about to get rolling. It's going to be a good summer. It's going to be a great summer. The Columbus Marathon is not going to be our next race. We have a lot to do in between then. Deuces, guys. I got I to gotta pack once again. Bye. I'm going to Oklahoma tomorrow, and you'll see that video a couple days after this one.